Hello there, and welcome back to this Java development course. So last time we went over non-numeric data types, so specifically char and boolean, and uh, you had some homework to do. So your job was to create a program which has two characters and two booleans, and then just print on one line first the first character, then the first boolean, and then the second character, and then the second boolean. So here essentially we should have done um, just have two characters, uh, C and two, two booleans, true and false, and I just print uh, them on one line with a string plus A plus A1 plus B plus B2. So pretty simple. Uh, this is essentially what we should have done. All right, so let's go ahead and run this application. Um, and there we go, we get C, so the first character right here, A. And then we have true, so this is A1, the first boolean. Then we have two, which is the second char character, sorry about that. And then we have uh, false, which is the second Boolean, B2. There we go. That is essentially what we should have done. Um, really not difficult at all. Uh, personally, to be completely honest with you, I couldn't really think of, of, of any exercises to do with characters and Booleans that would be better than this one. Uh, I, I mean, I, I just don't know. I just don't know what else there could be. So. Um, once we start getting into, you know, some more uh, useful sort of programming topics, we can start making more useful applications and the homework will start to get a little bit more fun. But uh, for now, I mean, this is, this is all I could think of. Uh, so yeah, without further ado then, uh, let's get into today's lesson. All right, so today we're going to be going over strings, which is our final data type. And this is actually not... 